Hello friends, welcome to our channel. So now we see about how to write AWK script. AWK script is divided into three parts. They are initialization, body and end of a job. So initialization is nothing but begin and the body. So end of the job is end. So begin, you write some actions. You can write n patterns in body section so this is the n section okay so this we are called as a begin section so this is body so this is n okay so what is the purpose of begin so the begin part we are called as a initialization define the instructions for initializing variables creating reporting acts this identified with the token begin so how we can identify the begin section by using the token begin this part is processed only once before awk reads the first line from the file so this is very important point let us assume so this is the file sample so this is the file sample this file contains three lines one two three so this is the line one line two line three. okay so now so whatever you are writing the actions in the begin section these will be executed so before reading the line from this sample file so what is the purpose of the awk the awk command is used to write some instructions these instructions you are going to apply on each line in the file okay that means you are going to write one instruction that instruction is applied on line 1, after that line 2, after that line 3. But what are the instructions you are writing in begin section? These instructions are executed so before AWK reads the first line from the input file. So normally so we are going to write the initialization of variables on report headings. For example the sample. So this is the file containing some employee details. I want to find the salary who got greater than 40,000. Then I can put the heading as a employee names who got more than 40,000 salary. Okay. So next one, body part. The body consists of one or more instructions for processing the data in a file. Okay. You can write any number of actions. All these actions are applied on each line in the file. So these instructions applied on each line in the input file. Next, end of job. The end part also executed only once this identified with the token end. The end part will be executed after the last line is read from the input file. Okay, so that means the begin is executed so before reading the first line in the input file. Similarly, the end part will be executed after the last line is read from input file. So begin, so before reading the first line end section execute after reading the last line in the input file so let us try to understand this example so this is the sample file sample is the input file let us take this as a sample file line 1 line 2 line 3 here i write awk in single quotation you are going to write the script this is the script i write so this is the token begin this is the token end so begin means Begin means it executes so before reading the first line in the sample file. That means before the reading of this line 1, we are going to execute this begin part. What is in the begin part? Hi. So it prints hi. Okay. Next line. So this is the body. This is the body. Now print body. It prints. What is the purpose of the body? The instruction is applied on each line. How many lines? Three lines. So we got so three outputs: body, so body, and body. Why? So this instruction is applied on line one and print body. Applied on line two, print body. Applied on line three and print body. And after reading the last line, the end section will be executed. What is the last line? By. So the output is high, body, 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 buy. Why high and buy? Print only one time. 
So these we write in the begin and end section. Why high printed first? Because that is written in begin token by using the begin token. So before reading the so line in the sample file, we are going to execute this. Similarly, so after reading the last line in the input file, we are going to print the Y. So here you can write print. So now we see how to write the AWK script. AWK in this single quotation you are going to write some script. Okay. The script contains three parts. One is begin, another one is body, another one is end. Okay, these are the three parts. Now I am going to write print high. So print high. In body section, I am going to write one condition print body. In end, I am going to write print end section. Okay, here I am going to give employee.txt as a file name. Okay, now you see it prints hi, that means the begin executes only one time. After print body, this is the pattern. So, how many lines in that employee.txt? So, 9 records available in the employee.txt. So, it executes 9 times print body. And end, end section it prints only one time. 